What's up guys, it's Adam here, and in today's video, we're going to talk about how to use ExpressVPN in China. Now, ExpressVPN is one of the few VPNs that still works in China, allowing you to access your accounts like Facebook, Gmail, WhatsApp, Instagram, and Twitter. So if you're interested in using ExpressVPN to get around censorship and geoblocks in China, then you'll want to stick around. So connecting to the VPN is actually quite simple. All you're going to have to do is launch and connect to a server. Your internet traffic will immediately be secured with military grade encryption, leak protection, and a kill switch. None of your online activity will ever be logged, shared, or sold to third parties. But you'll just want to make sure you've downloaded ExpressVPN before arriving in China since the website isn't available inside the country. Don't worry though, ExpressVPN is backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, so if you're not satisfied with its performance, you'll be able to get a refund with no questions asked. So just to break it down real quick, you can start using ExpressVPN in China with three easy steps. First, you'll need to sign up for ExpressVPN, download and install their VPN app on your device, whether it's a smartphone, laptop or tablet. The next step is to run the ExpressVPN app and connect to a server outside of China. You can choose from over 3,000 servers in 94 countries. The third step is to browse the web and enjoy a secure network with no geoblocks or censorship. Now at this point you may be wondering, how does ExpressVPN work in China? Well, to keep your data protected from third parties, ExpressVPN uses military-grade encryption and an automatic kill switch. The 256-bit encryption disguises your internet traffic, making it unreadable to third parties. So, anyone trying to view your activity will be unable to decipher what you've been doing or where you are located. And to guarantee your data is never compromised, the network lock automatic kill switch disconnects your internet the moment your VPN connection becomes unstable. Now, it's important to note that ExpressVPN has no physical servers or even presence in China. This is in line with the company's strict no logs policy, which ensures that none of your browsing history or personally identifiable data is tracked, monitored or stored. And this was even proven during an investigation in Turkey when ExpressVPN's server was physically seized by the authorities, but no user data was found. Now, something to keep in mind is that while China fights VPNs by technologically blocking the services and not chasing after the foreigners who use them, they are still non-government approved and therefore it's important to be extra cautious while using them. Although so far there have been no public cases of foreigners being penalized for using a VPN in China. Also, something else to note is that the protection of a VPN doesn't give you license to download copyright protected content and other similar acts, so it's a good idea to be aware of what's legally acceptable in your area. Now, in case you're having trouble connecting to ExpressVPN from China, here are five suggestions you can try to troubleshoot the issue. So the first thing that you can try is setting your VPN protocol to automatic. Basically, how this works is that ExpressVPN has different protocols for different activities. Like, let's say you're trying to transfer data, there's a protocol for that. So you want to make sure the VPN is on the correct protocol setting. And in order to adjust your protocols, you're going to go ahead and open the options menu and go into the protocol settings. Now, you want to make sure that the protocol is set to automatic as this lets ExpressVPN find the best protocol for connecting from China. The second thing you can try is to simply wait for ExpressVPN to complete the connection request. Let's say that ExpressVPN is taking a long time to connect. While it would be natural to retry right away, I would recommend waiting it out. Your connection could take up to 30 seconds to complete. So only retry the connection if the app tells you that it has failed. And then if the connection continues to fail, I would exit the app and restart your device before trying to connect again. I would say it's particularly important to wait if your regular internet connection is slow as this could be the reason for a delayed VPN connection. But if ExpressVPN has established a server connection and it's still not working, try reconnecting the VPN before you continue your online activity. 
By reconnecting, you refresh the app connection, which could help fix any technical errors or server interruptions. The third thing that you can try is to clear your browser cache. I found that websites will most often block a VPN's IP address if it receives too many requests, but a website can also block your cookies if you keep trying to connect to your account from different servers. To fix this, go to your browser settings and clear your cache and cookies. This removes the block so that you can access the site. Plus, clearing your cache can help bypass content blocks since cookies sometimes store your location data. For example, if a website sees a conflict between location data in your cookies and the VPN IP address, it may refuse access. So deleting cookies removes that location data so the website only sees the VPN's IP address, enabling access. The fourth thing that you can try is connecting to a different server. I actually contacted ExpressVPN over 24 seven live chat to ask for a list of recommended servers for China. And they supplied me with six or seven of the best servers to use. So one last thing that you can try is to activate IP and DNS leak protection. Third party apps and websites may still be leaking your real IP or DNS address. So in order to stop this from happening, you're going to want to go ahead and click advanced from the options menu and select prevent IPv6 address detection while connected. And also select only use ExpressVPN DNS servers while connected. And if all else fails, you can always contact customer support. Now, while ExpressVPN has a live chat feature on the website, it might not be accessible from China. Fortunately, email support is always available. And if you have any troubles with emails, I'd suggest Yahoo Mail as it has a working email service in China. And ExpressVPN's customer support team will send you a response right away. I contacted customer support by email and received a response within 24 hours. Just make sure you take note of the customer support email address in case you can't access the website. So I'll go ahead and put a link to the customer support email address in the description below. Now I'll go over some of the questions we get asked the most about VPNs in China. The most common question we get is, why do you need a VPN in China? Well, it's a great question and the answer is that the Chinese government heavily censors the internet by using a combination of laws, technology, and regulations controlling what its citizens and visitors can access. And since many of the popular sites that we all use are blocked from the public, it can be hard to stay in touch with colleagues, friends, and family. So using a VPN, you can access all of these sites and apps that would otherwise be restricted. Another question we get asked a lot is, can you just use a free VPN in China? So while a free VPN may sound tempting, I wouldn't recommend it. Even the best free VPNs are very limited. Fewer servers results in an unstable connection, which could leave your internet traffic unprotected. Many free VPNs also have data limits, so you can't use it as much as you may want to. Plus, your speeds can be deliberately slowed down to give paying users priority access, so that would mean slow browsing and streaming for you. That's why it's much safer to use a high quality premium VPN that's proven to work in China. ExpressVPN is the best option for China and it even comes with a 30 day money back guarantee so you can get your money back if you don't like the service. I tried this myself and got my money back within five days. All you have to do is submit a customer support request and you get a refund immediately. And for the last question, is ExpressVPN legal in China? So to be honest, none of the leading VPNs in 2022 are legal in China, including ExpressVPN. In 2018, the Chinese Ministry of Industry and Information Technology banned the personal use of any VPN that won't log or store user data. They have government approved VPNs that are legal, but these must comply with China's regulations and provide access to all logged user data on request. ExpressVPN has no servers in China and is based in the British Virgin Islands, so it's not a Chinese company, nor is it within China's jurisdiction. And using a non-approved VPN can result in a fine or even prison time if you're caught by the authorities. However, it's equally important to note that many Chinese residents and tourists use non-approved VPNs every day to access blocked sites and services. 
and while I don't condone participating in illegal activities, there have been no public cases of foreigners getting in trouble for using a VPN to date. So that is about all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in trying out ExpressVPN, I'll put a link down in the description below with a special discount code. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Don't forget to hit like if you found this review helpful and subscribe to this channel if you want to stay up to date on the latest VPNs.